and welcome to Battersea Park's BBC School Report. My name is Aisha and my name is Ashwin. Here are the headlines. 22 children and 6 adults have died in a tragic accident in Sierra, Switzerland on Tuesday evening. 24 others have also been injured. Over to Beth for the full story. While the coach was travelling to Belgium from Switzerland, the coach crashed into a tunnel in Sierra, a town in Switzerland. The reason of this crash is still unknown. Police investigators are trying to find out the, the, the speed of the coach when it crashed. There were no, there were no signs that the coach was travelling too fast. Our sources predicted that the driver had been suffering from some health problems that may or may not have affected his driving in the accident. There were only two people that survived the crash. There were more than 200 people and eight helicopters in the rescue party. About 100 relatives flew over to Switzerland on the government plane later that day. Very. On a lighter topic, our very own community have concluded what seems to be two successful runs of the 2012 dance showcase, I Predict a Riot. Now over to our entertainment correspondents, Osman, Buster and Ella, for more details. So are you going to be nervous about tonight's performance? Um, no. I'm really confident about it and um, I hope that the viewers will really like it. This morning the students from Vice are celebrating what seems to be a su successful run of the show I predict a riot. Now over to our entertainment correspondent for the details. Started on the 13th and 14th of March back to school. The performance have been practiced since December 2011. The most captivating part of the performance was the emotional scene between Alexi and Samuel. The scene has been amplified by the choice of music Don't Go by Retro The highlights of the performance was that the narrator's voice was clear and elegant, also helpful. Her costume complemented the performance. However, the performance was too short. Go back to Sulu. What did you like about the show? I liked it when we were doing the riot scenes because we got to jump off the stage and run up into the crowds. How did you feel about the show yesterday? Um, I felt very excited and sad. I liked the crowd's reaction. Would you ever do it again? Yeah. yeah. Thanks, guys. David Cameron is asking the Home Office to conduct a 12-week consultation to examine potential reforms to gay marriage laws. This would give England the same amount of equality as Canada and Sweden. Over to you in the studio. We've interviewed some people in the school about their opinions about gay marriages. I think that David Cameron uh, is passing this policy on gay marriage because he thinks it's popular. I'm not sure he particularly uh, is something that he'd particularly go for if it was all down to him, but, uh, but I think you know he's a good politician. I don't think there was nothing wrong with it. Um, if you love a person, it doesn't matter what gender they are. I think they should just be able to um, do what they want. Um, everyone should have equal rights, so there's nothing wrong with it at all. Okay. What are your views on same-sex marriages? Um, I don't know that I'm wholly committed to having any view, never really thought, having thought it through, but I'm really of the opinion that um, people should be free to love whomever they wish and um, that if they want to get married and, and make those vows to each other, they should be free to do so. Okay, thank you. 12-year-old girl, Leonie Nice, was struck in the chest by a rugby ball and has died. Over to Fatima for more info. Um, we're here to interview about you about the 12-year-old girl who got hit in the chest by a rugby ball. How do you feel about what happened? I think it was a really tragic accident. Now, if it was one of our students, thankfully it's not, not. but what precautions would you have taken if you had found out? I'm not sure you can take precautions because if we were to look at the whole of Year 7 at the minute, 150 students, we wouldn't know and perhaps some of their parents wouldn't know that they might have something um, that was wrong with them. Thank you, Tegella. It's my pleasure. She will be missed. Much so. Literacy has stalled at Lambeth Academy and Headmaster Jan Shaddick has set the goal of 100 days to turn the school around. I've just got a question to ask you. If you had like 100 days, what would you do if you could do anything to change the school? I would make sure we had a brand building. So this building is quite old and, and, and tatty and needs some major refurbishments. Um, I would ensure that the student had some greenery to play on um, 
brand new swimming pool, brand new sports facilities, brand new ICT suites, brand new classrooms. Um, even this room here, the sixth form common room, needs a, a re to be refurbished. So, new school. If I had 100 days to change the school, I would make it so that um, the students had to cook the teacher's meal to show how much we're really worth. Um, I would also make the curriculum, I'd change the curriculum to make the lessons more fun for the students. I had 100 days. Um, I mean, a lot of the, the, the things that I would do would, I guess, depend on um, funding. I think um, one of the big things that we have um, issues with at the moment, maybe, is, is large class sizes. You know, trying to get around and give individual attention to, to all students. So I would probably reduce the class sizes. Good luck to Lambeth. Who controls the internet? This is such a large question, as everybody uses the internet every day. We sent our reporter George to find out more. The internet, the internet was brought online in 1969 in result of visionary thinkers seeing great potential. A scientific, a scientific and military purposes. Computers said to Ben that a nuclear weapon could could bring down the whole continental computer system. Internet, internet was a revolutionary because it wasn't central. Its widespread network makes it flexible. Who controls the internet? A question that unravels public arguments. In recent weeks, uh, in recent weeks, crisis in the Middle East and North Africa outspread. Reports in Egypt shut down. The, network operations and China attempt to control the internet. As an uprise to the question of whether other nations can just flip the switch and just shut down the internet. Emails between President Assad and his wife have leaked. Shocking news of luxurious living has been found. Over to the reporters. Do you think this is right? No. Why? Why? Why do I think it's not right? Obviously if he's got people starving in his country so you think the money should be spent towards them instead of him? Did you know that President Assad's emails were leaked, revealing they had a luxurious lifestyle, and his wife has spent thousands of pounds on camels and chandeliers? Yeah. I didn't know that his personal emails had been hacked into, um, but it's very interesting that he spent so much money. Do you think this is right, that he should do this? It's not right that they hacked into his email account, but it's definitely not right that he's spending all this money um, on things that are not. Hello, do you know President Assad's emails were leaked revealing his luxurious, uh, luxurious life? I heard, I heard it on the news and um, I was well disappointed to find that you know one could have so much power and spend so much money on a lifestyle when, when the whole country is suffering. On a lighter note, our very own students give love advice to Prince Harry. Prince Harry has admitted he sometimes wishes he was a normal and suggested his royal stays come to play a Prince Harry informed The Guardian on the 15th of March that his royal stays can play a big part of his love life. Is being royal a curse or a gift? What love advice would you give to Prince Harry? Well, as I am a girl, I would tell him to go for it. Not for like um, a short term relationship, for a long term relationship. Well, seeing as I am a boy, and since I can put myself in his shoes, although he is a prince and I'm not a prince, I can just say what I would do in this situation if I was looking for love. Like, I would maybe just look through Facebook and just tell, tell all the girls that I'm a prince, and they'll be on me, they'll be, they'll be on me all day. Because he's like a prince, yeah, and he's got a lot of money, like, if people, like, think he's ugly, he like, make seven Twitter accounts, yeah? And like, try to say to girls, like, follow him, stuff like that. Harry's royal status will affect his love life. I don't think it will affect his love life because as he is um, related to the Queen, I think that it would, like, be better for him to find love because girls these days, all they want is a rich man to hold them. Thank you. No, if Prince William did it, I think Harry could do it as well, but it shouldn't be that hard. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it will affect his love life because, you know, he knows a lot of famous people and he's also, uh, there's also a lot of desperate ladies out there for waiting for a man 
And don't get me wrong, there are desperate men as well. But, you know, so either way, he's gonna get someone sometimes. Like people say, like, I don't think it will affect it. It will probably make it better. Because, like, what girl would go out with a broke guy who's, like, related to a broke woman, who's related to a broke man? Yeah. So, basically, people want money. And the guy has money, and girls want money. So, yeah. Thank you. Do you think it's hard for Prince Harry to find love with his famous? I think it's easier for him to find love because he's famous. Because, one, um, he's rich and two, he's known. So if like an unknown person like AG, her, yeah, um, she's unknown. So like if she found him, then like um, she would be famous too. Okay. Um, not really because like if he's got money, like he can like get anyone. Because if you're gonna go to like a nightclub with no money, you just look like a tramp. And like he's gonna be wearing a robe there. So like. It's gonna get dirty. Like people are gonna think that he's rich. He is. So, yeah. What love advice would you give to Prince Harry? Uh, Prince Harry, uh, just go out there and find the one. Ask your brother William, you know, how you got Kate, and then just do whatever you have to do. Do you think that Prince Harry's royal status would affect his life? Uh, no, I don't think his royal status would affect his life at all. It may, because people might be influenced by. It. Because he's a royal, but I don't think so at all. Now, to Adrian with the weather. Some sunshine for central and eastern area, uh, areas remaining cloudier. Uh, in, in the afternoon at 3 pm, weather will be pleasantly hot and sunny. This would be the hottest weather we have had in this week, so please enjoy it. Later on the evening, temperature will drop uh, by 2 degrees, which will give us a result of 14 degre uh, degrees. So it's, be it's going to be quite cold, so extra layers may be necessary. Well, moving on to Friday, whether at 9 a.m. it will be much colder than yesterday. A breezy and cold air will be expected, as well as cloudy uh, skies. Uh, thank the that's all for now. Thank you. Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of the day.